all right this is it this is the one i can feel it easy peasy easy peasy apparently no worries it was the one i felt it So nothing special at the start. You just want to kill this dude. I guess actually, how can I go back quickly? All right, the first thing I want to do here is like, as soon as I'm running through the door, this little stretch here, I'm immediately aiming downwards as you can see, right? Because we got this guy down here we need to get ready for. And so I'm kind of like preparing so that my missile shots can hit. Later on you do the same with your charge shots. It doesn't really matter, but you know, it's just annoying to like get hit by the first enemy in the game if you don't line this up. Just like that. <laughs> so you try to. Same with here. As soon as you're sliding through, you want to just start trying to aim upwards so you can hit it. So like as soon as you're sliding through here, you're trying to aim up. So you want to start popping this thing. Ideally, it's popped before you jump up and then you can go like normal. But um, if you don't miss it, not the end of the world. Just you don't want to spend too much time on this. This is easy. You just get quick wall jumps. You want to pop up. Now you can do a thing here as soon as you step on the ledge, you fire like a missile slightly up. That was a bit too far up this time. Like the idea is from the ledge here, you kind of want to just immediately shoot a missile that goes like whoop. Like anywhere from there should break it. This was just the tiniest bit high, so it didn't actually break the missile block. But it's not that bad. A again, it's not the end of the world. You can hit that missile block fairly easy. If you miss it, it's like less than a second. Same here. As it turns out, that's actually also a missile block I realized yesterday. So you can just fire another missile so you don't have to slide. It's going to save fractions of a second. Spam A to get through Adam as fast as possible. Nothing special there. Don't get hit by the slug, ideally. You can fire one missile or two shots. This is Craig the Crab. We'll see him later. This melee tutorial is required to break the game later so we can get screw. Now I come up here. Now some people I've seen do choose to go up this way. Sure it's fine. It may even be faster. I've practiced coming up here. The idea is you kill the bird that's down here. You head up. Pretty much as soon as you get up here, as soon as you start running, you want to like aim towards this bird and kill it with a missile, ideally. Um, or, you know, it's, it's kind of a scuff shot. Or you just start running and then you get to about here, you aim up and you fire a missile and it will kill the bird. That's the same thing. You don't even have to kill the bird. The alternate is that you come up here, you wait a split second, like you wait not even half a second. The bird will see you, charge you. You can just like slide, jump, wall jump and get up there. Um, don't have to. Again, just get the feel of it. If you want to go the right way, that's fine. That's just what I do. Miss the wall jump. What a clean start for a good PB. Same here, you don't need to kill the bird, but it's fun. Kill birds. All right, so Emmy skip. So I'll try and talk through how I do it. The idea with the Emmy skip right is with this blob here, it's the easiest one to hit. You just got to slide, jump, shoot, right? That's it. You're pretty much holding like directly forward, like horizontal while you're doing this. Because as long as you're in this corner here, then you're all good. Like as soon as you slide and jump, the shot's going to come from like up here and it's going to go pop and hit this thing, right? That's the goal. And then on the third go, so like you go one, two, three, and you got a four hits to break it. If you do a fourth one there and it crumbles on you, you die. So all I try to do from there is when Samus is standing here, I do like a slide left, you jump, and then you hold in so that Samus's head will be like in here and you get clipped. So as long as you do the slide, jump, turn around and then shoot, it's like the slightest angle down to get the final shot, right? That's my goal. Um, you don't have to, you can do the final shot by like coming back here and just sliding, jumping, shooting. But, you know, I feel like this is just what I've got the hang of to try and do pretty quick. Slide, 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 hop. Got it on my second go, which is very good. All right, this is the Cursed Tomato. Um, I will be posting links in the description of the YouTube video when I break this down. But in effect, what we're trying to do here, same as before, but it's a bit more tricky. So you're gonna slide, 
you jump, you want to bonk your head like along this section of the roof here, right? That's normally what I look for. And then you're like holding inwards and then shooting at a very specific angle. So like when you slide and jump here and you bonk your head up here, the shot's going to go like in an angle anywhere from like up here, which sometimes you'll see it hits this dude. Like you'll see him flash. If he's over here, you'll hit him or you can go too low, right? So the idea is you want to get this very ideal specific angle to hit the tomato. It's quite specific. Um, I haven't, again, found an exact setup for it yet. It doesn't seem overly tight. It just seems really annoying sometimes. Um, all I recommend is just do this a lot, all right? It's a little bit ridiculous. I, again, highly, highly recommend Pro Controllers specifically for glitches like this because doing this on a Joy-Con is horrible, all right? Um, I think I get this pretty quick. Takes two shots, so that's all right. So normally what my goal is here, right? If you can get up here from anywhere from like a 123, 123 would be godlike, through to like a 128 to get on this ledge, we're on decent pace, we're on good pace, right? So normally, if you're not gonna do the camera lock glitch later where you get the really, really early space jump, then immediately you just wanna go straight up here and then head towards the missiles, right? And then continue the run as normal. But because we're going to do the camera lock glitch, we're going straight to Corpius now and we're going to go do the save and quit, like the load to cut, sorry, load to checkpoint. And then that'll activate the Craig the Crag, <laughs> Craig the Crab uh, melee camera lock glitch for later, which we'll need to get screw attack, which is essential. So you basically just run up here as normal, just like you go on a Corpius, go punch the blob. and just system load to last checkpoint. Again, this is only setting up the glitch for later. So you hold left immediately because you can start running straight away. Head through here. Now, as soon as you go through that door, you'll start falling, right? Because you're not meant to be here yet. But as soon as you go through the door, you basically want to hold inwards and wall jump off of this wall, all right? You want to wall jump immediately. Otherwise, you're just going to fall down. And you can fall down and it's fine. It's not the end of the world, right? You're going to come back up here later and grab these missiles. However, fighting Corpius with 17 missiles is a lot better than fighting Corpius with 15 missiles. Let's just say that, all right? So get that wall jump. Come back up here, grab the missiles. You can pop this wall and you go straight back down to Emmy. Quit out. I run across. Oh, I want to go through that a bit more specifically. Wall jump. Very easy. Run across, start and select. So from here, you just want to pop this cherry as fast as you can. Pop <laughs> pop this cherry. Pop the tomato as fast as you can. Run to the left, I just start aiming straight up and spam shooting. I say pop it as fast as you can, because the faster you can pop this, the faster Emmy starts moving, which is the time constraint to get you to the next room, right? So you pop this. Now you can do the thing where you wait here for the Emmy to come around. And if you can get the, f the early melee attack and you parry straight away then you save about a second because it turns the alarm off and you can run straight through the door right you don't have to worry um you don't have to wait for emmy you don't have to do anything else um you just go as fast as you can however we've been resetting a little bit before this run so i don't want to do it anymore <laughs> so we just continue wall jumps completely optional it's just you have to burn time from this emmy anyway See, whereas if you parried Emmy, you don't have to wait for this. But continue as normal, get these jumps. So what, what I do, you just jump up like normal. I want to grab this ledge and then do a ledge hop backwards and immediately missile the guy up the top. That's my goal here. Just to go fast. You lose the tiniest bit of time every time you slide. It's not the worst. But if you can stay in just running, that's even better. Yeah, exactly. Shenanigan percent for wall jumps. Just kill these things. Now, okay, the angle of these things are a little bit annoying. 
we'll go through that a bit. So what I think on this room, base, okay, so this slug's easy. Just run up, kill the slug, right? You get in this position. Now, this angle kind of sucks. Yeah, so you want to shoot up and pop this thing, right? So it takes four shots. There's a small cooldown between each shot that does damage. You don't want to aim too high. You don't want to aim too low. You want to really hit the cherry. So it goes one, two, three, four, and pops, right? So even if you get four shots in a row, it won't pop. It's like, there's, there's a timing to it. It's like one, two, three, four. That's it. You can go one, two, three, four, and it'll only do like one or maybe two if you're spamming it too fast. So you don't have to spam super hard. You just want to make sure your shots hit, right? And then as soon as that's done, just jump up, hold L, aim down, pop this one, and then run, slide, slide, done. That's the goal. Nice and easy. So nothing special here, just run through. I'm sliding off the ledges because apparently it's faster. I don't even know, I just copied other people. So I go up the top here. So let's go back just a little bit. Oops, sorry, smack the mic. So I jump up here. You've got an option. As you come through here, you can go down, but I go up. The reason I do that is there's an Emmy over here, right? Big fat Emmy right over here. Now this Emmy will go in two directions. This Emmy will either go this way or it'll go this way. If Emmy goes right and you go down, you're kind of screwed. Right, Emmy's gonna see you and slow down. Emmy's not gonna come down straight away, so you can't even just jump up. So that's why I go up just in case. If Emmy does happen to go left and you go down, um, it's the tiniest, tiniest bit faster if you go down because you don't have to slide here. Completely not worth the risk. Are you gonna risk throwing away a potential good, you know, phantom three minutes of play of you resetting constantly just so you can save like a third of a second here? Don't bother, go up. So this is, you'll get this thing happens. This thing only happens because we've skipped the tutorial Emmy. This is the game going, oh, this is how there's items in this area. You just gotta be ready for this cutscene. You basically just mash A, there'll be a checkbox that comes up, you press A and then mash B immediately. So you press A to close the notification box, press B to quickly get out of the screen and continue with the run. Because Emmy went down to the right, it's not a problem. If Emmy goes left here, Emmy will be here. You just jump over, that's it. As long as you've done it fast enough, you just jump over. If you've gone a little bit slow, you can slow down a bit. Um, Emmy will like climb up on this ledge and then you can just jump over there. Not the end of the world. I recommend just getting in the hang of this room. If you do it fast, it's literally one of two scenarios every single time. We're not gonna let that happen. Easy, slide through. Nothing special here. Try and break the blocks so you don't have to slide if you can. Call it a tomato, not a cherry. Yeah, I promise. All right, these bugs are annoying. So they deserve a little bit. So these bugs can be annoying. You see all the bugs running across here and this little snappy dude. As soon as I come through like this Emmy zone, I'm just ready with missiles. You want to fire missiles across because a missile will hit, do splash damage. And so three missiles normally clean up all the bugs and then one missile for this dude up the top. You want to try and clean them. Like you want to try and clean all of them just because even if there's a couple of bugs left, they're going to hit you like as you're trying to get up the ledge and it's going to knock you back. And again, it's not the end of the world. Worst case scenario, you might lose like two seconds if you completely mess this up. But just this is what I'm thinking coming through here. You want to clean up these bugs straight away. And so don't worry, like you can spam missiles here. You're going to kill that many dudes. You can afford to lose missiles. It's not the end of the world. Just go nuts. Same there, kill the bug. Um, let's go through this just a little bit cleaner. So I'm aiming upwards with missile. You want to kill this dude straight away. You can slide again. What fraction of a second? Who cares? So come down here. You want to come down, you go drop, drop, and then you're going to hit this slanted section. And so you kind of just want to get through here as much as you can without sliding. Sliding will slow your vertical momentum. So you want to stay airborne as much as you can here without jumping or wall jumping. So see, like that first section was good. I only started sliding here. Pretty good, honestly, not bad. It's really hard to get through here without touching properly. I think I've done it once. You just come back in here, kill the slug. We've got more bugs in this next room. So you want a missile, missile, third missile to clean up if you want. Now, as I'm running here, I'm preparing for the tomato that's gonna be on the right. So it's like slightly above horizontal where this tomato is. You wanna kind of pre-aim it. So you can start going in, pop the tomato and go back out. 
Apparently jumping underwater is like slightly faster than just running underwater too, by the way. So come up here, nothing special. Same here. You can missile this guy off slide underneath it. You're going to slide off the ledge anyway, so I don't even know if killing it saves much time, but, you know, kill the dudes. I slid and killed it. Extra fun. Cherry popping tutorial, exactly. Um, you can missile this guy or you can slide jump through here and jump over him, doesn't matter. Right here, you're gonna be able to tell if you're gonna have a good or a bad Emmy. So Emmy's in, I think, two or three different spots here. Here we can see Emmy's good because up the top here, we can see Emmy. So if Emmy's to your upright here, perfect. You've got a good Emmy for the next room. Emmy's not gonna bother you. If Emmy's not there, and as soon as you go through the door, See, you know Emmy's above you because you got this here. That's the good Emmy. If you don't get this, you know you got the bad Emmy and Emmy will be down here to the right and Emmy's going to see you, which means you're going to have to think a bit more about how you're just going to get into the slide tunnel later on. So this movement's pretty standard. You just want to get here as fast as you can. Missile not necessary. Slide through, come through. So this room I'm preparing as well. There's a dude in the next room that, again, you can jump over, but if you can kill him with two missiles, it's faster. It's the same as the guys at the start. So you want to angle like horizontally, but slightly down, right? So it's not completely horizontally, because if you come through, your missiles won't hit. It's like slightly down at an angle is what you're looking for. So you come through here. And see, so one missile, you don't have much time. You got to fire a missile basically as soon as you come through and then another one. And that gives you time to come through and start shooting the tomato. This is a quick one. This only takes, I think, one shot or two shots to pop this. You want to come through, so you go missile, missile, pop, pop, and then you run through and get ready for the missile door in the next room. Missile, shoot it open. Careful of this bird, kill the birds. Um, and then I kill the slugs on the way down. This slug, not so important. The other slug down the bottom, absolutely kill it. Uh, two normal shots or a missile will kill it. Kill the slug. Cool. And here is where one day we're going to get a 420 charge. But not yet. Not with the current route. Yeah, everyone get a pro controller. Alright, so this dude takes two charge shots. That was weird. I scuffed I it. Him, I didn't. So two missiles or a charge shot and a missile here. You want to have a charge for this door. Now I jump up here. Let me slow that down a bit more. So as you slide, you can shoot the charge shot up. You don't have to. You can save your charge just for the ledge here and just shoot it here like normal. This is a fast opening charge door, so it doesn't save that much time. Now here though, you want to have a charge saved. You can either pseudo screw attack up here and just land on him, but I want to start running again immediately. You know, I want to spend, minimize my time in the air because running is just more horizontal speed. So as I jump up, I'm just going to aim slightly down and kill the bug. The same here, you slide through. You don't have to kill this guy. He's not going to hit you anyway. If you slide through and then, you know, you slide and then hold down back here towards the E-tank, you're all good. He's not going to hit you. But I kill him anyway because kill the dudes. And then slide, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Open this with a charge, kill the bug. And then we see Craig the Crab tutorial again because this is what happened when we did the Corpius load before. This reactivated this tutorial, which we need. So now we go back to the top with charge. I pseudo screw attack back up here. So if you hold a charge and you spin jump into something, it'll do like charge shot damage. See, it just makes the climb a bit easier. Now here, as soon as you come through the door, because we've already popped this, like you've got to get used to this. As soon as the door transitions, you jump because you want to grab this ledge, right? Look how quick this transition is. You want to come through here, you hit the save room, open this, get ready to jump immediately. See how fast that is? But anyway, now we're heading straight back up to Corpius. Now remember, we need to load checkpoint again immediately because we went through the Craig the Crab melee tutorial we need to do the glitch again for the tutorial to come back because we need it for later so you need to do the load to checkpoint twice in Corpius this run oh cheers helm new member you're a legend all right Corpius Corpius is done um let me try and go through this a little bit slower oh 
quit out immediately. As soon as it starts, Corpius is going to do one of three attacks. He's going to do like the pin thing where his tail goes and like pins into the ground. And then so later he'd have the ball here, but not yet. If he does that, you just want to stay in this area and aim at his head and go pop, 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 you know, destroy him. Um, he might do the slash thing where his tail goes like that. You just got to jump over it. Easy. You can just start shooting at his head. I don't even bother trying to waste missiles at that point. But phase one, you kind of just want to burn through your missiles as fast as you can. Um, I don't think he starts with the vomit phase, but if he does, fine. You just want to start chunking missiles into his head. Basically, phase one, you have 17 missiles. Burn through the missiles as fast as you can. I think you need to hit 10 missiles or 12 missiles, and then it'll go into phase two. So you've got plenty. You just want to burn it. You basically come in, aim at his head. If he does the pin thing over, move in just a little bit. If he does the swipe, just get ready to jump. Um, and just nuke his face. So that's it. As soon as phase two starts, you want to press plus and minus straight away to skip it. And then we're into the actual hard bit. So we start again, he's got his tail. And what we need to pay attention to here is where is his head? Somewhere here, right? So it's gonna keep moving during this phase. You only have 17 missiles. You want to hit as many missiles as you can. 17 won't kill him, but there's a trick we can use to get a little bit more missiles back, right? So same, he's gonna do the pin, he's gonna do the slash, or he's gonna do the vomit, right? <laughs> vomit, that's what vomit looks like. If he does the pin at this point, I wanna run inwards and then just start chunking his head with missiles, shooting missiles at his head. Um, a couple of tricks you can do is I normally try and start with a charge shot here so we can try and figure out where his head is. So like you can do a quick charge where you just do like a spin jump and then release. And then you just try and follow his head by like aiming up and down with, you know, you hold L, you aim up and down, try and follow his head and just hit him with missiles. Um, you do want to spend again through your missiles as fast as you can because when he does the pin thing like that, what I try to do as soon as that happens is empty my missiles and then pop this or get it as close to being popped as possible, right? Do as much DPS on this as you can with your standard shot. Um, don't waste charge shots on missiles on it, but damage this as much as you can, but don't pop it until you've used all of your missiles. The idea here is you want to use all of your missiles on Corpius to damage Corpius. However, as soon as you pop this, it activates... Um, like the setup for the melee counter cut scene, which gives you a bunch more missiles as well. So you want to chunk through all of your missiles, do as much damage to Corpius as you can, and then finish off the Orby thing up here, get a bunch of missiles back, and then we do the same thing again for the final phase just to finish DPSing him, right? So it's doing the pin. I'm just trying to shoot as much, or trying to get this as close to being popped and then spend all of my missiles on Corpius's head. So I hit most of them, used all of my missiles and then transitioned, right? You saw that. As soon as I was out of missiles, I wanted to transition. So sorry, we went back to phase one, but you'll see. Spam. All right. So get this as weak as you can. I've still got 15 missiles left. Spend the rest of the missiles. Just spam them at his head. Hit as many as you can. As soon as you're out of missiles, no missiles left, pop the tail. You get 17 missiles again. What I do here is as soon as I slide through or go to slide through, I charge up a charge shot. Um, again, this is optional. I just think this is gives me a little bit more leeway. Charge up a charge slot, slide through, release the charge shot, shoot a missile and melee. But after you melee, don't shoot. You want to cancel the melee animation by jumping so that you don't get the counter animation, right? The counter animation is slower. When you're in the cutscene, your missiles do half damage and you need as many missiles and as much damage as you can at the moment. So you cancel the counter cutscene by jumping and then just start unloading missiles into his face again. And you just want to do this, hit as many shots as you can to try and finish the fight here. If you run out of missiles and it's not dead, it's just an idea of doing rapid charge shots into his face as fast as you can. So charge, unload, melee, jump, and then just again, unload missiles. 
Now, what you can do here as well that's a bit safe, if you're not very good or you can't figure out how to consistently hit Corpius in the head here because he's invis invisible, pop his tail again just with your power shots, right? Just break this. If you break his tail in this phase, he's going to go into a situation where it's not going to go into the cutscene again. You don't get any more missiles, but Corpius will run all the way to the right of the room and his head kind of stays in the same spot. So what you can do then is you can like pop his tail, run to the other end of the room, turn around, just unload all of your missiles perfectly horizontally and they'll all hit him in the head. Well, most of them should. Similar again, if you're out of missiles, you can do like quick turnaround rapid charge shots. So you like charge, turn around, shoot, charge, turn around, shoot, and just keep hitting him in the head with charge shots. That's a pretty quick way on how to get quick shots off if you've missed a few or if you don't get lucky here or you mess up, you don't get inside of the pin here. If you can get inside the pin here, I've still got four missiles left. You just want to do as much damage as you can. If you've missed, like you don't really have much room to miss missile shots if you want to use just missiles only. But if you do miss a few missile shots, again, just keep unloading charge shots until it's done. So not a super right. ideal Corpius, but it was all right. I will talk through it as well. So there is a glitch where if you transition from phase one to phase two as Corpius is doing the vomit, his head will be like kind of stuck in a position for the first like five to 10 seconds of phase two. Haven't quite figured out how it works yet, but it is nice where in phase two, you just hit all 17 of your missiles straight away transition and then you have super fast Corpius. I don't know if someone can find more info on that, that'd be sick. Yeah, Helm Holtz. How you going? Thank you, thank you. New Barry. Let's go. All right, so up here in this room, we just want to try and get a slide. I didn't get the slide. So the idea is you slide first and then Phantom Cloak to try and be moving faster while you Phantom Cloaked. That's all you're trying to do. Same here, you want to get to the top, but instead of going left this time, we're going right past the missiles. So slide and then Phantom Cloak to go through quickly. Like that. Now on the next room, we got to get ready to aim up for the tomato straight away. Hold your charge, slide, kill the other tomato, do the same. Just come back up. This is a charge door. And keep running. So you just want to come down here as fast as you can. Um, with these ledges, okay, so you can slide off them. Alternatively, what you can do is if you go off them and then you face towards the ledge, hold down and uh, like spin jump. You'll do a spin, and as long as you're holding down, you're not going to grab the ledge, which means you can go past them slightly faster. Just a tiny little optimization. Nothing here. Get ready for a bug in this next room. You can kill him or jump over him. Jump here. Now, with ledges as well, be careful with ledges. Um, if you try to, like, jump up on the ledge on the first frame, you might wall jump instead of jumping up. So wait, like, a split second after jumping on a ledge to press B so that you don't wall jump off of it. Charge a charge shot here. This bug up here, this little bird, it's important. So see, I'm charging charge shot so you have your pseudo screw attack here so that as you space, not space jump, as you spin jump up here, you don't have to worry about even killing the bird or attacking it. You can just jump into it and it'll die. Um, if you're really fast, you can just jump past it anyway, but just charge it. Most of the time you need missiles here anyway. You want to have minimum 17 missiles going into the control room um, before this next Emmy. So if you have zero missiles here, you need to be picking up missiles off of this bird or this bug. You need a minimum of one missile going into the next area, at least one, or you have to take the charging station after the atom room. And you want to avoid that. So this dude dropped missiles, so that's nice. We're at 17. Still want to grab missiles. 17's perfect, but if we miss one, it's scuffed. Thank you, so Prior Max. Very good. Spam A to skip Adam. Like All right, so we're running left. The subscribe button to become Barry. Become Barry, everyone. All right, we're just going down and left, going through the heat doors. So again, down and left through the heat door. Now get ready here. You're about to do a jump in immediately in the next room. So this thing comes down, right? 
what you want to do immediately is like you come forward a little bit and then you turn around and you want to come and land down on the platform that's down here. Alternatively, you can fall here, come down as this thing swings down and wall jump off this wall and come land on this platform. It doesn't really matter, whatever's better for you. It just saves time. Um, this is how you're gonna end up getting missiles before the control room too. I showed you both there. All right, so have a charge shot coming through this door, right? Because what you wanna do is later when you escape, you end up coming up here anyway, right? But this is a charge door over here. This is a charge door that takes like a second, a second and a half to open. So if you open it now, it's open immediately after the ME fight and you don't have to worry about it. So as you drop down, fire your charge shot through, open the door. You also have to kill this dude with a missile. So as you drop down as well, you fire your charge shot and then you fire a missile at this guy. So it's release charge shot, fire a missile, kill this guy. Seems a little bit tight, it's not that bad, but that's your goal, right? See? So the charge shot opened this door, the missile killed this guy, he dropped, what's that, like 25 missiles? So it doesn't matter, as long as you got one missile, you kill this guy. If you don't have missiles, you can pseudo screw attack into him twice, he does the same thing. But you wanna kill it with a missile, jump up, grab the missiles, immediately come down and break the other charge door. You don't have to jump up, but if you're particularly low on missiles, I've had situations where only one of these missiles will follow me instead of all of them, and then I've only got like five missiles in the next room, which is annoying. But you're falling down here, charge a charge shot, break through the door, head to the control room. So mash plus and minus. As soon as you're in here, hold L, upright, Hold R, spam missiles, right? Again, I think you have to hit 17. Now, there's going to be rinkers coming at you. Rinkers is the little circle things. I'm pretty sure they come from like here. This one's gonna head towards you. And so that's the first thing that's gonna annoy you. So basically, spam missiles, wait for this rinker to come out. As soon as it gets close to you, just take like a step and a half, right? And alter your angle a little bit and keep shooting missiles up there. You should have enough time just from that run rinker that like you'll unload all 17 missiles in and you'll break the shell. You'll have another one coming over from here at that time. Whatever, don't worry about it because the shell already broken. You just wanna then find as soon as the shell's broken, find somewhere comfy that you can just aim at it and spam as hard as you can. Um, it's unlikely you'll have missiles. If, if you want, there's another thing you can do where once you've unloaded missiles, you can melee the rinkers or shoot them with missiles, whatever you want, but melee works. Um, and they have a chance to drop five missiles as well. That way, when the shell breaks, if you have extra missiles, just unload missiles into this. So much faster than just, what well, feels so much faster than spamming your shot while angling, for me anyway. Um, not the end of the world, you can spam your power shot, it's still fine. So see there, I just moved a little bit to the right so this rinker doesn't come. This one's gonna head towards me and this is gonna shoot, but then it's already gonna be broken. See, like this is only just starting to shoot now and the shell's already broken. This rink is so far away. So now that I've seen this, I've still got two missiles left, right? Um, I'm gonna melee to the right, hit this, hope that I get some missiles. I'll end up like here and I wanna be aiming up and then just get ready to start firing missiles into here. Didn't get missiles that time. Now, so with that shot, you can jump over it, or again, you can melee to the left and hit this rinker. The thing with meleeing to the left is you're not shooting this, so you're losing DPS on the boss, but you have a chance to get another five missiles if you want, depending on how fast you've been going. That was a long control unit. Anyway. So immediately hold LB, start shooting, start charging immediately. You just get the hang of this. Let's not die here this time. Let's just kill it properly. All right. So what we do here, for the strat that I'm gonna show you here to work, you have to be relatively quick, otherwise just do the normal strat. So what most people will do is you're gonna drop down, you're gonna come up, jump, 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 and you'll come over here. And then normally what would happen is you stand up here, you aim across, the Emmy is gonna come up here, and you just kill the Emmy like normal, right? That's fine. 
that's perfectly fine. It's not that bad. But what we're going to do is if you can do it fast enough, you drop down, you want to jump up onto this ledge, you jump, you grab this ledge and get up and then full jump up here, immediately start aiming down at the Emmy and shooting its face, right? Like straight away. You want to do this as fast as you can because you're not going to have enough room to completely break the Emmy's face shield this way. You need to come up here, do enough, get it to the point where it's nearly broken, jump over the Emmy and then kill it from the other side. If you feel like you've done a lot of DPS, you can still kill Emmy in this room, like in the doorway. Um, if you feel like you're just a little bit behind, not quite doing it, run into the other room and finish killing Emmy from the other room. Killing Emmy from the other room is not the worst. It doesn't really matter. You, again, the goal of this is just kill Emmy as fast as possible. So full hop, ledge grab, oh, go. So that wall jump screwed it up. So I'm going to jump over and go into the other room. So that's it. Little bit scuffed. That last, that little bit of the Emmy was at the end because I got the wall jump. But pretty straightforward. Not that bad, right? So 10 minute spider. That's what I'm aiming for now. And so this is what the meme's always been, right? The run doesn't start until Spider. Now that we've done that, the run's out of the way. We're through those annoying phantoms. We're through all the annoying sections. So we got the broken Emmy skip we did at the start. The early Phantom Cloak suit away, which is the annoying bit. Go straight to Corpius. You load to checkpoint for the camera lock glitch. You can melee the Emmy for the time save. Don't bother if you've got some good movement. Have your clean movement. Head back to Corpius. Remember, you do need to load to checkpoint again before you kill Corpius properly. Kill Corpius, go back, do your run, and then don't die to white Emmy during the kill there. 